Welcome to Sunday, April 26th. And today for your English lesson, you are going to do your conclusion writing for your animal report. We're going to look at the rough draft today. So we've completed our rough drafts for our introduction, our characteristics, habitat, diet and survival, and life cycle sections. And that means that we are finally on the last one, and that is the conclusion. So what is a conclusion? Well, it basically takes all of the information that we've shared in our writing and summarizes it. So it usually doesn't have any new information, but you can, if you did the extra facts research on Thursday, you can add this in if you would like. Okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is summarize what we've already talked about. And this means that we have to retell the most important facts in our own words. So in your writing, you need to decide what the most important facts are. So you might take something from characteristics, you might take something from habitat, you might take something from diet, survival, and then life cycle. So you might have something from each of the five different things that we've already talked about. So remember Miss Julia, she's doing her report on brown bears. So she has found uh, something from characteristics, which was brown bears are large predatory creatures who have sharp claws and big paws as well as a hump on their back. Then she found something that was really important about habitat. They live in forests and tundras all over the world, and they can live in hot and cold climates. She found something from diet. They are omnivores who eat small fit animals, fish, berries, nuts, and roots. Something from, number four, something from survival. They use their strength and size to hunt food and hibernate to help themselves survive through winter. And for number five, she found something for the life cycle, which is brown bears go through five stages of life and live to be 20 to 30 years old. So this is going to be a little bit trickier because you don't actually have research. You just have to take what you've written and retell it. Just the most important facts in your own words. Uh, Miss Julia also added that brown bears are magnificent animals. So this is what your page looks like today. <clears throat> and it is a just a, your conclusion. If you did not do the extra facts, that's fine. You don't have to add them in. Uh, Miss Julia did some stuff here, so I'm just going to mark that. OK, now for her conclusion, she has started by thinking all the way back to her introduction. So she has written in this report, I have told you all about brown bears. I wanted to know more about their life cycle and how they survived. So she went all the way back to the reasons why she chose brown bears, which you can add on your conclusion. I learned that they have sharp claws, big paws, and a hump on their back. I learned that they live in the forest and tundra where they use their special features to hunt small animals, catch fish, find berries and roots, and hibernate to survive winter. Brown bears are magnificent creatures that go through stages of life just like we do. I hope that you have enjoyed learning about them as much as I have. So she's taken all of her learning and she's just written it into a bunch of different paragraphs. So she has a, some information about characteristics, she has information about habitats, diets, survival, and life cycles, which is what you want to try and summarize. So even if you choose the most important facts from each, each section to write it into your conclusion, that is perfect. Okay, but please make sure that it's in your own words. If you did do the extra facts part, you can add in your extra facts. And Miss Julia, she did so she says, if you are interested in learning more about brown bears, check out these cool extra facts. There are 16 different types of brown bears. Their hump is made out of muscle and shows strength. Brown bears can have 42 teeth and a brown bear can smell something three kilometers away. So she's added in her extra facts to her conclusion, which is perfect. So remember, your conclusion is just taking your information from your introduction, 
characteristics, habitat, diet and survival, and life cycle sections, choosing the most important parts of a piece of information from each one. So life cycles, it could be how many stages they are, habitat, which habitat do they have, uh, where do they live, your diet, what diet do they have. If you don't want to put anything for survival, if you thought, oh, no, then that's fine. It's up to you. This one, I'm hoping that you guys will have at least six sentences for it, okay? So I'm hoping that it's six sentences for you guys to have written in your conclusion. So six sentences. So now it's your turn. So you need to use the writing that Miss Julia did to help you with your own writing. And I remember you need to check your capital letters, make sure that the month days holidays are capitals, I is a capital, the names of people and places are capital, titles are capital, and the start of a sentence is capitals, okay? Check your punctuation, read your sentences out loud to see where you need to put a full stop, question mark, or exclamation points. If you run out of breath reading it, you need to make it two sentences. That is important. Uh, you should also make sure your sentences do not start with and, then, or because. You guys know that there are better ways of writing them and you can think of better words. I know you guys are super smart and can do that super easily. Also, remember, check your spelling. Only ask mom and dad at the end after you've already checked a dictionary or a thesaurus. Maybe even ask Siri or ask a brother or sister, okay? And then I want you to make sure that it's your very best work so that you're very happy for me to see it. Now, I'd like you to try to get this done before Tuesday, so you have tomorrow to work on it. Uh, so today and tomorrow are working on your report days, so there's not going to be any new information for English. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to show you what you need for your good copy with Miss Julia, and we'll talk about your final task. So that's what you need to do for your good copy of your report and how you're going to present it to us. So you will find that out on Tuesday. So really take your time over the next couple of days and make sure that your conclusion is something that you are so proud of and that you've done your best work and that you haven't just copied off information from your research and from your other parts and that you've just taken it and retold it in your own words where you can. Okay, obviously if you wrote that a brown bear is an omnivore, you can't really make that into your own words any more than you already have because it's true. A brown bear is an omnivore. But you can decide if you want to elaborate and add more about what they eat. So it's up to you, okay? I'm going to be talking to you um, as you submit your work. I'll be giving you feedback like I have for everything. And it's up to you to take that. And hopefully if I suggest something to fix it, um, Otherwise, if, I have it, if I've just said great work, then you are on the right track. So have fun. And remember, please try and get your conclusion done for Tuesday. So that way we can tell you about your final task for your animal report. Good luck. I look forward to reading your conclusions.